Hello everybody, I'm Sanji and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time stopping by, thank you so much. I appreciate your checking me out. For all my new subscribers, thank you so much. Welcome, welcome aboard. Hopefully you will learn a lot as well as enjoy your stay, get a few laughs, you know, I'll do my best. <laughs> for those of you that have been here for quite a while, been holding me down since day one, much love to you. Of course, I will never ever tired of thanking you for your continued support. So thank you so much to each and every one of you. For those of you that are looking for additional services, energy reading, cleansings, life coaching, merchandise, uh, things of that nature, uh, those things are available on my website. So if you check out the description box hit that little arrow it will show you where to link up to handle all things sanji <laughs> uh, also there will be other new products coming as well as additional services that i'm trying to factor in amongst the life coaching and other things so there will also be other services available coming in the fall into 2021 so keep your eyes peeled for those as well okay business is out of the way let's get to the video Alrighty. so here's the thing if you're new around here this is what happens i pose a question typically in the video this is one of those videos i pose the question the question for today is the three zodiac signs most likely to be Aries, sun sign Aries soulmate. Do you think you know who they are? If you know who they are and you don't need me to give you any backdrop information for it, you can pause the video here, go to the comment section, write who you think your three guesses are for the best possible soulmate for sun sign Aries. And then you can skip to where I give you the answers. For those of you that would like a few more clues and a little bit of the hints of how I'm thinking in regards to a soulmate for Aries, let's get into it. Alrighty, now the Aries sun sign is typically bold. Aries are passionate, they're spontaneous, and they're determined, okay? They are known, typically most Aries have some type of a scar on their forehead because that's a telltale sign because they lead with their head. Um, so at some point in their childhood, typically they bang their noggin every now and then came back with a scar. So that's typically a sign for Aries. Also, this fiery first sign of the Zodiac is a number one. They like being number one. They, they call themselves number one in all things, even if they're not. <laughs> That's just the trait of an Aries. So it's only natural to accept nothing less than the best, especially when it comes to picking a romantic partner. They think that they're the best and that's what they want in a soulmate. Now, while the Aries definitely has their fair share of admirers and compatible Zodiac matches, they, they're out there. There are only three that are most likely to be their actual soulmate, okay? So whether you're an Aries or you find yourself crushing on one, which, you know, that's quite common, so no alien <laughs> behaviors there, there are, astrologists tell us that it takes a special certain someone to keep an Aries long term, all right? So you think you know? Now remember now, keep in mind, Aries get a bad reputation for being selfish and unromantic. And although at times that can be true, okay, Aries, now y'all know when y'all get that tonal vision about something, everything else, you don't care. <laughs> but that's not true for you all the time. And you're Definitely that whole thing about you being unromantic is definitely not true. Aries, in fact, are actually super romantic people and they love nothing more than being in good connections because that makes the Aries feel as though they're thriving, okay? That's one less thing for them to have to accomplish if they got the relationship part of the situation 
Correct. So contrary to popular belief, yes, Aries does want a good romantic connection and they want it to be solid. Now, while Aries may be competitive, they aren't into playing games. So when you're doing your selection, keep that in mind. They are very competitive. But that doesn't mean that they feel like playing games in their, in their romantic relationships. Quite the contrary, actually, okay? So once Aries knows what they want from somebody, they'll be able to let their guard down once you show them that and then they are in it. They expect loyalty and a sense of freedom from their partner because Aries got lots to do. You know, you're busy when you're number one, okay? So you, you need to understand that, all right? And the my three guesses are going to provide that for Aries. So those are all the hints, all right? I think I've given you plenty with some background on Aries. Pause the video and let me know, who do you think? Who do you think are the three best possible Zodiac soulmates for Sun Sign Aries? Think you know? Alrighty, I'm gonna give you the okay, answers. Coming, coming in at now. number one, the best possible soulmate connection for Sun Sign Aries is none other than Sun Sign Leo. That's right, anybody with a birthday July 23rd to August the 22nd is Sun Sign Leo. And you came in at number one as the best possible soulmate connection for Sun Sign Aries. Here's why. Now, when these two fire signs get together, they light each other up and they fuel each other's drive. So it's just like heat gets together with heat and it is magical, okay? Now, according to astrologers, the Aries and the Leo trine each other, which means that they both have the same sensitivities and approach to life, which makes things wonderful, right? They can both easily handle each other's passionate and wild size and feel very free and relaxed when they're around each other in this relationship. It's just a natural, organic flow that they don't have to try to force or manufacture. It naturally comes with the pairing. Now, one downside, though, about the Aries-Leo matchup is that both Aries and Leo can tend to be a tad bit self-centered, okay? You both can be a little bit self-absorbed. Mm -hmm. All things Leo. No, it's all about me. No, it's all about me. Aries, it's all about me. Me, 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 Okay, that, that could be a problem, all right? And that may cause you to butt heads from time to time. However, all right. Ultimately, this pair can overcome anything as you tend to have a deeper understanding for each other. And again, it's about communication. You know, you have to understand, Aries, I'm talking to you, that you have to let other people lead sometimes, okay? That's a common Aries trait because you guys think you know it all and you got it all figured out. And that may or may not be true, Aries, but... In the world with the rest of us, <laughs> some of us like the opportunity to lead as well. Some of us like the opportunity to get our shine on and let it be about us. Okay. All right. So if you keep that in mind, and Leo, you have to understand, I'm talking to you right now, that yes, all things great are Leo. However, Aries got stuff to do, all right? And so every now and then, it just can't be always about you and you can't get all the attention all the time, all right? Sometimes they got some work to do, all right? So you, you got to be all right with that. <laughs> so as long as you do can work out those small little quirks amongst the two of you, this is a great pairing. Again, the passion, the fire, the drive, the, the sensitivities, the spontaneity, the social, the all things financial, liking things, just everything just works when the two of you actually work, all righty? And that is why I chose Leo as the number one best soulmate connection for Sun Sign.
Coming in at number two, best possible soulmate connection for sun sign Aries is none other than sun sign Aquarius. That's right. Anybody with a birthday, January the 20th through February 18th is sun sign Aquarius. Aquarius, and you came in at number two, the best possible soulmate connection for sun sign Aries. Here's the deal. Now, although Aquarius may be known some in some circles <laughs> as cold and emotionally detached, according to astrologers, Aquarians actually represent hopes and dreams in astrology. See, did you know that? Did you know that about Aquarius? They are actually are optimists. They are the ones out there. They are the keepers of hopes and dreams. Now, often the Aquarius air signs are romantic. They're optimistic and long for deeper connections. The problem is Aquarius has a difficulty finding it as typically they find people to be surface and that they don't really go deep, all right? So finding the right person to invest their energy into isn't always easy for the Aquarius until they meet sun sign Aries. That's right. See, Aquarius loves the honesty and the directness that's going to come from Aries, while Aries will love Aquarius's unique and honest approach to dating, you know, Aquarius is like, no, no BS, okay? They're gonna say what it is. They're gonna tell you what they want. There's no guessing to it. They're gonna say what they mean and mean what they say. Aries is going to love that about the Aquarian, okay? Now, both these signs sextile each other, which is a very harmonious aspect in astrology. Suggest, and that suggests that there will be an ease to compatibility. They won't really have to work at it. It's just going to naturally flow, okay? Now, while both signs are highly independent, alrighty, which is fine, Aries' possessive side can push Aquarius to seek more freedom. But again, that is just a matter of communication and, you know, Aries... Get it together, okay? This is Aquarius you're dealing with. You know they can't be controlled. You'd be glad if you can contain them, is what I'm telling you, okay? Contain, not control, all right? They yours, they somewhere. Give them the freedom to move in and out of that thing, okay? <laughs> all righty. So, aside from that, however, there's a lot of mutual respect between the two of you. There will be a fascination to how each other thinks and flows and moves. So that's, that's good. That's going to keep the connection going. And there'll be a mutual admiration between the two because Aries will dig how Aquarius goes about moving and shaking and getting things done. And there are different aspects to things that they're involved in. And Aquarius will admire the drive and the tenacity of the Aries to make up their mind and to go for it, regardless of what everyone else says. Because at the core of it, remember, our Aquarians are our lone freedom fighters and they love people who have the get up and go, the drive to make a decision about what it is they want and go for it. Aquarius loves that in people and they're going to find that in their Aries partner, which will just make things harmonious and tons of things to talk about and explore. So for that reason, amongst a whole host of others, <laughs> but those things in particular is why I chose Aquarius as the best possible matchup soulmate for Sun Sign Aries coming in at number two. And coming in at number three is none other than Sun Sign Scorpio. Anybody with a birthday, October 23rd through November 21st is Sun Sign Scorpio. And you came in at number three, the best possible soulmate connection for Sun Sign Aries. Here's the deal between a Scorpio and Aries matchup. Now, Scorpios and Aries may seem like an unlikely pairing. However, both signs are ruled by Mars, the planet of war, action, and desire, okay? So according to astrologers, Scorpio demands passion 
in all areas of their life, right? That's the intensity that goes along with being Scorpio. And this is something that the Aries will thrive off of because they will like that fire, that drive that they see in Scorpio that's under the umbrella of intensity. Now, Scorpio expects love to transform them for better or for worse. They're willing to take it, you know, they've not taken any prisoners. Scorpios are in both feet, okay? And Aries will find that energy about Scorpio endearing and passionate and very hard for them to resist. Yeah, well, you know, it's Scorpio. You either love them or hate them. And most people are just drawn in to Scorpio. So Aries is not going to be exempt from the crowd, okay? Now, one downside to this pairing between Scorpio and Aries, which is why they didn't come in higher for my selection, is that both signs tend to get jealous fairly easily. So that is a big problem in this pairing because both of them are very territorial with their love mates. So any sign that they may be flitting around isn't exactly gonna go over well with either Scorpio or Aries. However, if there isn't a strong foundation of trust, they can easily get caught up in a never ending cycle of heated arguments followed by fantastic thick makeup sex <laughs> okay so that can be a cycle that might be something you want to watch out for where there's the continuum rah, 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 oh, all over each other okay um some people might see that as toxic other people might see that as uh, having a good time and another lady in our relationship uh, depends on your perspective but that is definitely something to watch out for in this pairing but regardless of what happens between you two uh, this pairing is guaranteed to be exciting and intense. Both of you are going to bring the intensity to it. Scorpio, most definitely, that's who you are. And Aries is going to enjoy lighting it up and seeing you become more and more intense with them. They will actually like that. And so they will actually do things to uh, foster that and make things hotter. Again, watch out for the cyclical, angry fight, makeup, angry fight, makeup. Because, you know, <laughs> Aries is about that life, even if you're not Scorpio. So if you find that happening, you might want to check the trust factor early on in the relationship. Get some things straight. Establish a solid foundation so that... Um, you know, you're not constantly on that wheel. <laughs> Although you may like it. <laughs> and for those reasons alone, just because things get really hot and really steamy between Scorpio and Aries, that is why I picked you as number three, the best possible soulmate connection for Sun Sign Aries. So those are the three best possible soulmate connections for sun sign Aries. How did you do? Did you get them right? I kind of went in another direction. I had a couple others that I thought about uh, doing it so for them. But ultimately, those are the three that uh, went out in my line of thinking for the best possible soulmates for Aries. So you feel free to tell me what you think about my choices in the comment section below. Just scroll on down and you'll see it and just add your comment. And I will see you in the comment section to let you know what I think about your thoughts. And we can have a healthy exchange down there. Again, you don't have to agree with how I came up with how I came up with it, but uh, we can definitely talk about it. And if you're an Aries and you have your own separate idea about who you think would be your best soulmate connections, feel free to drop them in the comments section as well. If you haven't done so already, I would very much appreciate a subscribe and for you to hit the bell so that you will be notified when I upload new content. It's coming towards you pretty soon. 
pretty fast. So be a part of it. Be one of the first to comment and let me know what you think about the video. Alrighty, until next time, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate your watching. And until we meet again, take care of each other. I'm Sanji.